Todd Bellow said the warning strike lasted till Monday after a total shutdown of the agency would commence. Signifies the commencement of an uh, indefinite strike action. But first we are commencing with a three-day warning strike. Then the total and indefinite will commence after the three days. The group which demanded training and payment of overtime saying the protests would go on until their demands are met also called for the resignation of the Director General of the agency, Mustafa Mehaja. Long been tackled between the management of NEMA and the Minister for Labor and uh, Employment and agreements reached on the implementation of those issues that were brought for discussion. Up to this moment, the management of the National Emergency Management Agency refused to honor the agreement that they are part and parcel of. Meanwhile, the Director General of the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, Mustafa Mehaja, has called on labor union leaders in the agency to be lawful in channeling their grievances. Speaking to State House correspondent on the protest of the NEMA staff today in Abuja, Mehaja said the agency and the Ministry of Labor have met three out of the seven demands of the labor unions. He noted that the agency is yet to meet with the remaining four of the agreements reached with the agency. The Director General, however, called on the aggrieved workers to be patient as government is working to address their concerns. He said he was unaware of cause for his resignation. I call on all aggrieved people to be law abiding, to follow due process wherever they need to lay their agreements. The rational decision negating all the leaders is not to And away from all of that, uh, back here in Lagos. Suspected kidnap kingpin Chuku Domeme Owa Madike, aka Event, has pleaded not guilty to the two counts charge of conspiracy and kidnapping of one Duno Donators. The offense allegedly committed in February this year. Evans had at his arraignment on August 30 pleaded guilty to the charges, while other alleged accomplices denied committing the offenses. When the court reconvened on Thursday and the amended charges read to all six defendants, they all pleaded not guilty. The arraignment at the court was witnessed by a large crowd of interested parties, while there was a heavy presence of security personnel. Now, following the plea of all the six defendants, the Attorney General of Lagos State, Adeniji Kaze, who led the prosecution, asked for a trial date and for all defendants to be remanded in prison custody. Now, staying here in Lagos, Governor Akiomi Ambadi has urged stakeholders in the Central Business District to identify challenges and proffer solutions that would enhance economic growth of the state. The governor who gave the charge at the 2017 Stakeholders Forum of the Lagos Island Central Business District encouraged the stakeholders to maximize the benefits of the event by contributing effectively to deliberations that would improve the management of the CBD. Amberde, who was represented by Secretary to the State Government, Tunji Bello, said his administration had put transportation and security system in place that would enhance good business atmosphere. The challenges of managing a CBD are dynamic and therefore must be reviewed from time to time with the aim of making the business environment as conducive as possible. I assure you that your ideas and suggestions will continue to count as they will form the basis of our actions in terms of quality design and implementation. Earlier in his remark, the Special Advisor on Central Business District at Bolad Dabiri stressed the need to revitalize every area and aspect of the Central Business District. For the Lagos government, is key on development of infrastructure to, a, to a, enhance business growth. We can all agree that this cannot be achieved by the government alone. Hence the need for all the stakeholders to work together in this regard for our mutual benefits. Now one of the participants of the forum, Ialoja General, who was represented by Iabodi Daniel, commended the initiative and charged the governor to equip the CBD for better business environment.
the CBD agency have been doing very good job since its inception. And uh, after the former CBD boss left, the two people that came in, especially Mr. Bola, has done a lot to make sure that the, the traffic is free, nobody is trading on the CBD area, and uh, we want the government to enhance that particular department so that they will have more men and um, equipment in order to keep people off the road. Now talking engineering and technology. Nigerian engineers and builders have been implored to embrace technology transfer and exposure to international designs in building as well as enhance the quality of delivery. The call was part of charge by stakeholders in the engineering and building sector ahead of this year's Niger Build Expo put together by Elan Expo. Speaking with newsmen in Lagos, the project coordinator Jude Chime said the forum will afford the participant the opportunity for knowledge development. Uh, I mean, they're not coming for uh, touristic holidays here. They're coming to do business, to do trade, to invest, to find partners, uh, to have uh, to meet uh, Nigerian businessmen here. So all the idea is trade. It's not a a, a cultural show. It's a trade event. Which about 15 countries coming into Nigeria definitely we're bringing in trade solutions to the infrastructural deficit in Nigeria in the sense that um, um, we're bringing in investors too who might also want to do a PPP arrangement with um, the Nigerian community especially in the building and construction sector some of the stakeholders in the engineering and building fields underscored the importance of the event slated for November there will be inflow of investment, especially in terms of uh, structures, in terms of building materials and the rest of them. We can even, they can even teach us. We can also learn how to make some of these products by ourselves. Technology transfer is very key. So these are part of the tech home we are looking out for. Based on their HVAC, the past expo they did. We are looking at their track rec records, what they've done in the past. That's why we decided to partner with them, because we are looking at the value are there that we are going to get from the course. To know that if we are attending such events here, it is not just about paperwork, it's about technological transfer, about experience, being exposed to best way of doing things. You know, earlier on they said about the processes of construction. It's not just in the book, but sharing it with other people and that what it's an opportunity for networking it's an uh, opportunity for um, knowledge um, development for them it's uh, an opportunity for to enhance their exposure to international designs in building international designs in materials uh, it's an opportunity also to network and to invest because when you bring in all the technologies that are coming in uh, it helps to enhance um, the quality of delivery of our builders and our, and our engineers. And talking party politics now, the All Progressives Congress, APC, has reaffirmed commitment to the rule of law and obedience to the party's constitution. The reaffirmation is coming in the wake of insinuations on whether or not President Mohamed Buhari will be given automatic ticket to contest the 2019 presidential election at the ruling APC. Addressing journalists after an expanded National Working Committee meeting at the party's secretariat in Abuja, the Bauchi state governor Mohamed Abubakar said the issue of who flies the party flag for next general election is a constitutional matter and would be addressed by the party's constitution. And uh, in fact, uh, that is one of uh, the items that was discussed, amendment of the constitution of the APC with a view to strengthening the constitution of uh, uh, the APC in line with democratic principles. Now he and the Senate leader Ahmed Lawan commended the party for holding an all-inclusive meeting for a better party and also reacted to reports that President Buhari tongue-lashed governors for epileptic payment of workers' salaries. Always, whenever you meet him, either 
uh, officially or in private, he will always express his concern on the plight of the downtrodden masses of Nigeria. And that was exactly what he did. He did not direct any accusation at the, at, at, at the governors. But the meeting was also an opportunity to make clarifications on reports that President Buhari asked the World Bank to focus its developmental gestures to the northern part of the country. APC National Publicity Secretary Bolaji Abdullahi explained that the President's statement was not meant to favor one part of the country, but to seek solution to the casualties caused by the Boko Haram insurgency. Mr. President's statement to the World Bank is in recognition of the particular devastation that Boko Haram has caused in the northeast of Nigeria. Our and Yobe axis that have suffered specifically or particularly as a result of the, of the Boko Haram activities. You're still watching the news coming to you from Galaxy Television. Still ahead, INEC said to implement European Union's 2015 election recommendation. A detail 